Hello, stamping friends. It's Jackie Balhay from Clomp and Stampers. Today, I have a quick and easy gift card holder for you. You know, those holidays are right around the corner, and this is the perfect way to package your gift card so it's actually a card. You can mail it or you can hand it to someone, and it just is a whole lot cuter than those little envelopes they give you at the store when you purchase gift cards. Now, don't limit yourself to just Christmas. Now, the samples I have to share with you, and I got several of them sitting here, actually, do all use Christmas designer series paper, but this idea would be perfect for a wedding. I give gift cards a lot for weddings or for babies or a shower or a birthday. Just change up the theme of it, but use the exact same idea. I hope this is an idea that you use over and over because I know I do. So let's flip the camera down and let's make this quick and easy gift card holder. Hang on a sec. Okay, you ready to make our gift card holder? Now we're gonna start out with a piece that's 11 by four and a quarter. So it's a normal card size, half a sheet of card stock. And that's what I like about this one is you could pop it in a regular size envelope. So it's very mailable. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is take this and we need to score it at one and a half. So let's make sure we have the scoring blade one and a half and then we're going to slide it out here to five and a half now don't worry about remembering these measurements i will have pictures of the one i make along with what do i got like four other ones here i'm going to show you in a little bit and i'll have the measurements all on my blog post i always do a corresponding blog post you'll find the link in the video description and i'll have pictures the list of supplies because i don't even remember this is the paper we're using i can't remember what it's called but it'll all be on the blog post plus i'll have have all these measurements for you so I know you're gonna want to make a bunch of these year round it's just a great gift card holder so we're gonna fold it in half okay looks like a regular card and then this extra little piece here we're going to fold to the inside now I'm using my bone folder because I like really nice crisp folds on that so that's what it looks so like so far now we're keeping it super simple i am all about using designer series paper to do most of the work here but again you could make this you know jazz it up as much as you want to jazz it up okay so we're going to put a piece of paper on the front like so and then we're going to take some strips and these should fit right here in the middle um like I said, on the front there, if you want to do a ton of stamping and layering and embellishing, all that stuff, you absolutely could do that. Now we're going to take this piece and we're going to stick it over there like so. Okay, we're going to close it up and there is the front. Okay, and it's going to open up this way. Now what we're going to do here is let's do a little stamping first. We're going to go ahead and we're gonna make our greeting for on the front. So a little something for you, lots of love from me. So let's go ahead, we're gonna punch that out with a circle punch. Again, this could be any size, any shape, any greeting for that matter. And then let's just take a little linen thread. Um, like I said, we're keeping it super simple, but I think just the nice little touch of some linen thread on here still keeps it simple, but adds just a little bit to it so it's not too plain. So let's, we wrapped it around twice and then we'll just go ahead and tie a little bow here if my fingers will work right, like so. And we'll bring these little tails down and trim it off. Um, I like the linen bows because again, this makes it really easy to be able to mail this. And then our little greeting here, we're gonna put a couple of dimensionals on it. So we can't do anything without dimensionals. And then let's just stick that right over that linen bow. So there is the front. Now in the inside, we want to at least have a little greeting here. And um, this is going to go right there like so. But let's stamp it first. I always like to stamp layers before I adhere them down, just in case we make a boo-boo when we're stamping. Because if we did, we got two sides, so we could flip it over and we'd have that second chance. So let's go ahead. I tell you, friends, this, it doesn't get any easier than this, but so much cuter than those little holders you get at the store. And I'm a big gift card holder, especially since my kiddos and most of my family all lives far away. So for gifts, um, whether it's Christmas, birthday, whatever, I love to send gift cards. 
So there we go. We are almost done here. Now I want to show you here. I have a gift card here. Now this is going to create a little pocket here. So we need to adhere that down. And I found the best thing for adhering this down is the um, tear and tape. Okay. And we're going to just put a piece way, way over here on the left edge. Is that the left edge? Right edge, whatever. Bottom. This is the top. But I'm doing it on the little flap because then I know exactly how long to make it. And make sure you're as close to that edge as you can be. And then we're going to go ahead. Let's just, I, I like to use a piercer. You can you take your pick tool or I got the old one here just to peel that off. And it leaves adhesive on there. Now, instead of just adhering this down, I like to take my gift card put it in here. You can see it fits in between that adhesive. If that adhesive is going to hit the gift card, then you've come in too far. And this way, when I close this down and adhere it, it creates a little bit of a gap in there. So we know it goes around that gift card. Because if I would have done it without the gift card and just laid it flat, it would be really hard to get this in. But now it fits nice and tight, but it fits in there. So there we go. We are all ready to write a little message on here pop it in the mail and send it off. So let me show you a couple others. Um, I Like I said, I give a lot of gift cards. So I made a whole bunch and I used the same greeting on all of them, but I just varied the different designer series papers that I was using. So it doesn't take a lot of paper. Oh, you know what? We forgot one thing. Oh, shoot. Um, let's see, you should do this before. Let's see if we can even get it in there. We're gonna squeeze it in there. Use any size circle punch um, and just punch a little tab in there, but do it before you um, adhere it down. It's way easier. I knew I was missing something there. Okay, <laughs> as I was looking, oh, I got dimensionals. I'm looking at that going, wait a second. So there's that one. And I just pulled out different packs of designer series paper that I had and cut some coordinating pieces. So got five of them done. I got a few more to make and I'm going to be ready for Christmas. So I hope you enjoyed this idea. Make sure you go check out that blog post and you'll get all the measurements, cutting, scoring, and all the different pieces so that you can make these. And make sure you save this idea because like I said, it's not just for Christmas. It's perfect for any time you want to send a gift card. Or if you give cash, you can stick cash in there just as well. But I really like that it's the size of a regular card. So let us know if you have any questions or if we can help you in any way. We are here to show you and teach you how quick and easy card making and stamping is. So let us know how we can help. Have a stamp happy day, everyone. We'll see you again soon.